My name is Jan. My whole life, all my choices, led me to this place. When I took this job, I thought things would take a different turn. Well, ironically, they did. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane, what a trip. It's not a trip, it's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Well, you look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No, you're not hallucinating. Remember who you are. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rose Kenobi. Hey, what'd you say? Well, it's not. We, it's not a horror game. I don't think. Maybe it is. Anywho, hello and welcome to the Altars. I believe this is a sci-fi epic story game of some kind about alternate dimensions. I have no idea. This is Steam Next Fest, and we're going to check out if this game is worth a buy. New story. That was a scuffed intro. Nice stash. Ooh. We don't really know it, but we sense it. There is a sister ship to our life, which takes a totally different route. While the sun burns behind the islands, Thomas. Transtroma, the blue house. Uh oh, how did I end up here? My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. The destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Is he sleeping? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown. Can't really tell. Wake your ass up. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Open. There. Is this yet another branching? What is happening? Stuttery. Oh, that was a tough landing. All right, so we came down to this planet. Do you read me? Anyone? Nothing. I need to figure out what happened. Certainly looks great, doesn't it? How's it looking, chat? That water looks like oil. Weird. 
Oops, there's my crash pod. Lair. Alright, so yeah, I guess we're on some other world. We have no idea why we're here. How's the how's the volume of the game, guys? Can you hear my mic okay? Is the game a bit too loud? Testing one, two, three. All right. So since this is a demo, we have no idea it's why we're. Flare from my capsule. Oh. Why should I look out for those? What a weird uh, rock formation. This whole place. Oh, I can run. Whoa. Dolsky. I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. What was that? Uh, oh, nothing. Maybe the radio's broken. Just shiny. I think that water is oil, maybe. It's very shiny and rainbowy. Alright, so follow the flares, I guess. Top notch. Sweet. Yeah, the, the main thing I'm interested in, in this game is the story. I love a good sci-fi story. I'm kind of expecting an S-tier story with like a B-tier gameplay. But we'll see. We'll see. So far, a whole lot of running. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the captain. The, Shit. The captain. Deceased. Oh, no. We don't know why we obviously we we vacated our our ship we don't know why yeah, we took escape pods off our ship i don't see our ship in the sky or anything but Looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. Sounds good to me. Graphics are so realistic. Yeah. This will be probably the best looking demo you'll see. We're starting with the best one. Graphically. The people that made this are the same people that made Indica and uh that game that i'm playing on uh that planet what's it called i forget is it base. there it is oh dolsky here anyone copy if you can hear me i've located the base and try and get down there Interesting base. We landed closer to the drop-off point. I gotta keep moving. A lot of drop pods here. Are they all dead? The capsules. Wait. Wait. What? No. That's 
it's impossible. We can't all be. Oh, he's scanning them and they're all deceased. Everyone died. Why? It makes no sense. That was cool. We could see that he was scanning them on the visor's reverse reflection. That was a nice little cinematic detail. I like that. Also, I just noticed on my backpack. Oh. Look at the waves. What the hell? Fast. Oh, it's a vortex going into the sky. What the? F I was going to say my backpack has a little nuclear symbol on it. That must be the radiation detector that he just talked about. Bro. Gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah I, yeah, I find no subtitles to be more immersive. Get to the base. Yes, the elevator. Quick. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was close. Day one. Oh. Hello. I'm on the boat, Chip. Anybody here? Okay, that's the elevator, obviously. <sighs> For a moment, I hope someone else made it. New task. Is anyone home? I need to find the comms room and get help. So I've got materials. Metals, motion. Okay, so obviously you're going to have to collect materials. Base overview. Whoa! Oh, so you can see the whole base from the outside. Radiation barrier off. Well, that doesn't sound good. This. Base navigation system allows you to plan and start journeys. Interesting. That's like a quest marker. Base building. Open the build menu. So yeah, you looks like you can choose what you want your base to have. A workshop. Increase your base size. Interesting. That's pretty cool, actually. So you decide what sort of modules you have. Find the communications room. Wait. Communication room is upstairs. New calls. Establish a connection with Earth. Hello? Hello. Can anyone hear me? Mayday. Mayday, anyone? Uh This is the new captain speaking. Uh I'm not the captain. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm here. But uh, uh I'm not the captain. I'm just a builder. Jan Dolsky, corporate ID 4672B. The captain Whole crew is gone. Hello? Can you get me out of here? Imminent danger. Short time remaining. Imminent danger? What danger? What do you mean? Remaining to what? Talk to me. What's the danger? The plan to rise is ruined. Be lethal problem. 
Fuzzy on me. Proximity. Oh, you just quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? Please, put it in your force. Dark Rose. This map must escape. Proximity. Dark Rose. You mean a, a star will come and, and burn this planet? And I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? Uh oh, sunrise. Perfect. Well, damn. I need to find those captain's logs. Manual. Quantum navigation. Building. New task, escape the sun. Follow the instructions to prepare for the journey. Gather six metals outside. Follow the instructions. What's the instruction? Manufacturing necessary, necessary equipment. Locating organic matter deposits requires the deployment of an ally corp polygonal scanner. It can be crafted in the workshop module of the base. Workshop module. Where's the workshop? We don't have one. We need to build one. I think. Can I build one now? Cost four something. Yeah, I think I need to exit and uh, harvest. Do I need a tool? Let's go to the workshop or whatever this is. Machinery. Radiation barrier. Protect the base from harmful radiation. Auto load on. Hmm. It lasts for 24 hours. That sounds useful. Now we got a bunch of storage lockers down there. And the captain's cabin over here. Captain's log. Oh, so I can read this anywhere. I don't need to go here. Pass time till the next day. Okay. If you need to wait for stuff. Is that a Dyson fan I see right here? Look at that. This guy's got a Dyson fan. Wow. Must be nice. I want one. Yeah, I think we can go outside and harvest, hopefully. Morning. The radiation levels at night are deadly. Exiting base not permitted. Okay, so I have to sleep it off. All right. When going to sleep, you can select the hour at which you will wake up. Sleeping longer gives you more work energy, represented by the pink bar. When it runs out, you will come tired and slower. Don't work when you're tired. I wish that was like real life. The companies don't care. They don't care. When the chat energy bar runs out, you will collapse from exhaustion and wake up the next day. Wake up time. That sounds fine. Work energy. That's yeah, fine. Day two. Sunrise is in eight days. So that's telling me I've got eight days until my destruction. That's not a lot of time. Hello, Oliver. Shallow deposits. You can find shallow deposits on the planet's surface. They contain a limited amount of resources that can be extracted quickly. 
Where do I find these? Open the map. How does that help? Is that a deposit? That shiny rock might be a source of metals. Yeah. Oh, time is time is uh, going by really quickly. Eight oh seven already. Because it takes a long time to harvest. It's cool that it does it quickly, though. So this game's going to be a lot about time management. Energy management. In addition to whatever story. Cruise personal items. Class photo. Yeah. This is one of the things they told me to take on the mission. They things told that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Hmm. Objects that trigger good memories. Typical corporate bullshit. Hmm. There's no jump button, I don't think. Okay, so that pink bar is my energy. So if that goes all the way down, we're in trouble. Crazy how that base is just like a big wheel. I guess I can move it around. So I see gas over there. I guess I should go check that out before I run around. Organics. I need a climbing hook. I need to make one at the workshop. Yeah, I've got 15 metals, so I can make a workshop. I should do that. Oh, what's this? I'll make a climbing hook in a minute. More personal item? Ooh, a multi-tool and a soccer ball. Workshop first. Build workshop. Where should I put it? I think beside the command center. Yeah. Very nice. And there it is, just like that. I can queue things up. Queue items for production. Ooh, climbing hook takes uh, 12 liquid. Scanner, scan the plant's surface for deep, deep resource deposits. Sure, let's do that. I need to harvest water or whatever. I don't need no tutorial. I'll figure it all out. Number one. Well, I have to make it? This machine won't even do it? Hmm. 
New tasks, organic matter. Okay, I need that. Find organic deposit area. Let's find a good place for a mining outpost. Mm, that's still offline. So I guess I, I still have energy, so I should be able to go back out. Now, how do I use the scanner? Do I just go outside? Okay, this first step to scan deposit to find the blue, find the deposit area. Blue smoke. So we saw that over here. But what about my scanner? Hmm. Okay, maybe there's a way to get up there without the hook. Can I get this stuff? Hmm. Maybe I can go around. Oh, is the, the floor looks weird. Very weird. What is this? That's what I'm saying. Could this be Rapidium? 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 I feel strange. I have to get closer. Make sure. Oh, I need to collect a sample. Take another one. Yeah, I'm running out of time. Yeah, I gotta get back to base and sleep. And then come back. So the useless quantum nav system isn't that useless after all. We knew where it was sending us. Except you guys are mine. Hmm, you're saying the quantum navigation system sent us here to find that? I still can't believe it. This could change everything. I and it was, it was also we find Rapidium. What is so special about Rapidium? Where do we report this? It says I have a phone call. Is that at the captain's quarters? What is Rapidium? First discovered accidentally by an Allied Corp near space exploration vessel on the 842 Hermes asteroid passing Earth, Rapidium revolutionized the way we think about accelerated growth. Called by its enthusiast, the time traveling element or the savior element, it emits a unique type of radiation, COXY, which can transfer raw energy directly into the myco mitochondria of organic cells, projecting matter into versions of its future self within hours instead of years. Why are we exploring the most distant corners of space to find it? The answer seems obvious. Multiple research confirms the potential of rapidium is almost limitless when it comes to infusing life to crops, even in the most challenging climate conditions, while reducing the time and resources needed to grow them practically to zero. The implications are immeasurable. Funding and collecting a substantial amount of rapidium will allow for the restoration of agriculture on Earth, putting an end to the global catastrophe of hunger. The people on Earth are not doing so good. Ever since making this groundbreaking discovery, Ally Corp has become fully committed to bringing the savior element to Earth and makes continuous efforts to invest both in accelerated growth and space mining technologies, always proudly at the forefront of striving for the future of humanity, never falling back.
All right, so that ties into what this guy was saying. Like this, this nav computer brought us here. And at first he was like, why did we come here? Obviously it must have detected the Rapidium. And it's, a, it's extremely important that we find Rapidium and bring it back to Earth. Basically to save Earth from, from starvation. So it's huge that he found it. Now, how do we report it? Hmm. I see that call button, but where's the phone? Oh, communication room upstairs. Okay. That makes sense. R report it to Earth. Yo, Earth, I found that stuff. You ran out of work energy. Eh, we'll talk to him first. Hello? Anyone copy? I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be... Rapidium. You hear me? No reaction? I think I found Rapidium. You sure about that? Uh, well, I didn't scan it. Am I sure? I, I don't know. Everyone is dead. The sun's coming. There's radiation everywhere. I'm just telling you what I saw. Test. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? A blueprint? The womb. You want me to build... A womb? Who are you? Who are you? The womb, huh? Build a womb? To grow a person or what? DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth. Damn. This is our supercomputer. I'm sure that's never going to turn on us. All right. I should sleep soon, but let's see. What do we need for a womb? Oh, we can build it now. Let's put the womb. Wait. Oh, it's big. The hell? Why can't I put it here? I need a new elevator, a new floor, perhaps? Yes, I did. All right, baby, you're going to live in the basement. Don't complain. That way I don't hear you crying. Okay, so I have built a womb. Now, what could possibly come out of it? I don't know. Let's go look at our womb. Test Rapidium. What is this? What is going to happen? Goes. In a sample. Rapidium. So R Rapidium should make it grow like such a good idea. instantly. Whoa. <laughs> oh. It worked. Oh, of course. <laughs> what else? So that's my food source. Right? Oh. You need a name. I think I'm gonna call you Molly. Molly, huh? Look at all those little pillows that Molly has. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Oh, you don't bite, do you? I guess I'm not gonna eat it. Report the results. Rapidium confirmed. Character needs to sleep soon. Not yet. Oh, upstairs. Okay. 
Okay. I built the womb and uh, tested the rapidium. The DNA sample provided was a little surprising, but it worked, I think. I cloned a sheep. Hello? Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep on board. You're responsible for two lives now. Go. Will you help me now? Yeah. Now that I'm a real hero, I could use some real assistance. You're in imminent danger. Only oh, short time remaining to survive. I know that, but I'm just a builder. I'm not trained to move the goddamn base all by myself. Hmm. Still telling me to prepare for the for the ends. Yeah, I guess I'll sleep another day. <laughs> mm, lamb chop, yes. I do quite enjoy lamb, actually. Okay, so I need to harvest more materials. Still need a source of organics. Okay, we're gonna go back to where we were last time. This time, go around. So we're on day three, and we have five days left until we're dead. What is that noise? What is making all that noise? Find the deepest spot for a deposit. A red spot? I have a limited amount. Oh, it stays there. I have five.
Okay, we're getting close to the deepest spot. Place the man post on the deposit. Use pylons. Connect mining posts with the base. Oh my god, really? That's why it's send resources to the base. go pretty far. There we go. Fast travel. Oh, I can travel over there instantly. Nice. Let's try eight organic matter. What's that over there? More of a pity in me. Welcome back, Sal. Okay, so now I got food, so I gotta build a kitchen now. Hmm. Where should the kitchen be? Beside the womb, huh? Okay. Alright. Prepare six mush meals. Not there. I can't believe it's not automated. I have to do it. I'm tired. I gotta sleep. Not sure, not, not sure how we're gonna do this in eight days. What's for dinner? Uh, mush. I don't know. Just had dinner and I feel fat. Isn't that weird when you feel super bloated? Ok. 
Okay, I made a lot more than six. Start the engines in the command center. Alright, so we got food sorted. Command center, command center. Where's the command center? One above. Start the engines. What engines? Oh shit, I'm gonna move the whole base? Oh, that's why it's a wheel. Whoa. What just happened? Turn the lever in the machinery. Do this to me now. Uh oh. Going on here. Okay, that's sorted. Let's give it another go. Radiation barrier still doing good. What? Again. Another emergency. Shit. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. You have got to be kidding me. Call. Just my luck to be stuck in a junkyard. Call Elecorp. Mayday, mayday. Hey, you still there? I really need your help. I can't get out of here. I did everything according to the manual, but there's a malfunction I can't fix. I just don't know how. Repeating the Xavier, I need to check data pieces on the team QC module. Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Access granted. No, gave me access. Man, that was easy. Talk to the quantum computer, okay. Mind records. Mind record? What? I choose one? What the hell? Select a life event. The older I get, younger I get. Project Dolly. Losing Lena? You look down another bottle, and the wedding ring she gave back to you. A job at Alicorp. Freedom. Finally. She's got it. A new, better life without you. All you could ever do was hold her down. Look at yourself, drowning your sorrows in a bar. You're everything you promised yourself you'd never be. Where the hell did you fuck it all up? Well, shit. Learning about the mission. You toss and turn in your bed. You can't stop thinking about the at that Alley Corp poster. Help us make a change. A space mining mission in search of that mysterious substance, Rapidium. It's a long shot, but it says you don't need any professional experience and you know you need a change. You haven't managed to stick to one job for more than several months. Nothing makes you happy. You're stuck. What if it's a way out? Project Dolly. You enter the spaceship with a tingling of anxiety and excitement. You're going to space. Far away from here. Just like you always wanted. Far away from your problems. You'll think about them later. Or maybe they'll be gone by the time you get back. Interesting. 
Uh oh relationship problems damn she's getting on your nerves why doesn't she just tell you it's all your fault those bills are piling up as if you weren't working hard enough and why does she make such a big deal of a few drinks before you hit the sack you deserve to unwind after a 12 hour long day of work asking her to stay you're wondering if she really is okay with the decision to stay maybe you should have said yes but how could you it was a crazy idea in your situation you need to prove it to her that it was the only sensible choice you need to get your shit together give her a better life here maybe find a second job hmm lena's great chance you listen as lena ex talks excitedly she really wants to take that offer move abroad sell the house but for how much it would hardly be enough to pay off the bank with the soaring rate of interest and what about you it's hard to find a decent job at home, let alone in a foreign country. After all your efforts to make ends meet, it would feel like going back to square one. Damn, you just wish she didn't want it so bad. Hmm. Not exactly supportive. Okay, obviously I can read a, a whole bunch of life events from Buddy Boy here. What are these slots? Like, what do you want me to do? Early childhood. Childhood memories, fuzzy and distant. The mining town you grew up in. Rows of similar apartment blocks. The local grocery store your mom worked in. The playground where you spent more time than at home. Oh, I can select this? Growing up, a family like many others down there. Your father coming late from work in the mine, usually drunk, always pissed off. Your mother, doing her best to keep the family together. Your constant desire to run away, to get out of that place and never come back. Turning a blind eye. Another shitty day at school. You're taking the longer route home. Hey, what's that fight about? The boy shouts for help. He's looking straight at you. You should intervene, but the fear... No. Better not to get involved. Run back home. One day, you'll get out of here. You have to. Wishing to escape. It's so hard to study for exams when your dad's yelling behind the door. Mom doesn't have the strength to fight anymore. Something's wrong with her. She's weaker. More passive. You know you should do your best to support her, but being home is just unbearable. You count the days to graduation, hoping those exams go well. At the crossroads, you open the envelope with trembling hands. It's a good college. It's close to home. You could visit mom regularly and get a good education. You tear the paper and see the results. No. Not good enough. The only place that wants you is hundreds of miles away. You'd have to leave mom alone with him. Moving away. You promised yourself you'd get out of there. You have to keep that promise. You can't waste your life. It's not something she'd want. And you can still visit her. A little less often, maybe, but you can. You will visit her. Too far from home. It's been months since you've been home, but you can't miss the post-exam party. All your friends will be celebrating. Their company makes you feel good, like you found your place. Do you really want to spend the entire day on the train, only to see mom for a couple of hours before she goes to bed early? And all you'll be left with is a constantly drunk oaf of a father seasonal job you look at the letter it's tempting working abroad for two months you could earn enough to support yourself for the whole semester you could ditch those lousy part-time jobs and focus on studying it's tempting and you could send money some money to mom she needs it for her treatment too late to say goodbye oh god i knew this was coming you missed it the moment she collapsed the ambulance taking her to the hospital it all went so fast you missed the opportunity to talk to her when she was still conscious. You're back home now, but what's the what difference does it make? You fucked up. It's too late to say goodbye. Doing it for her. You failed her. But what could you have done? Stayed behind in that miserable place to become bitter and dead inside? Be like dad? The sense of guilt holds you by the throat. What if you ran away from it all? Ditched college? Made a fresh start? Forgot? But wouldn't that be giving up again? No. 
Mom would want you to get on with your studies. Get a good job. You have to carry on for her. Meeting Lena. Your heart pounds at the thought of this evening. You never thought someone like Lena would want to hang out with you. Slow down. It's only a project. Maybe you should have got something better than beer? You could have bought wine, but wouldn't that seem like you're hitting on her? You're only teaming up for a project, but she's so different from anyone else you've ever hooked up with. She likes you. You can see she likes you. Moving in together. This is it. She's moved in. But is my cheap little rented flat good enough for her? Her parents would hate it. You know they would, and she knows it too. Is that why she doesn't talk to them anymore? She's not ashamed of you, is she? Whatever they think of you, you're going to prove them wrong. Work hard and give Lena the good life she deserves. New opportunities. Hard work pays off, right? You can be proud of yourself. A diploma with honors and, and that offer? A PhD? It's tempting as hell. But the salary? How much longer are you going to be a broke ass for Lena? Ugh, you think about it later. Time to celebrate now. Leaving the university. It was a tough conversation, but you handled it well. The professor understood your motives. Working for a private company gives you better pr prospects, and you'll finally be able to move out of that dorm. Take Lena for a proper holiday. Yeah, it was a good decision. The purgatory of nine to five. On the subway again. Damn, you hate that crowd. Day in, day out. Maybe you could take the, the later train and stay longer at work? No. Your boss would never agree to that. Punctuality is all that matters to him. Not what you actually do. Sometimes you feel all he needs you to do is punch your card. And for what? Pushing papers and pretending to get things done? Someone pushes you as you try to take a seat? Man, Monday mornings are the worst. Dream house. Your face beams as you exit the bank, hand in hand with Lena. Finally, signing the mortgage papers was easier than you expected. Maybe it was worth putting up with that idiot of a boss for two years to get this place. A dream house. Lena has so many ideas for decorating it. If you hurry, maybe you can even get it ready for Christmas. You'd love to see her parents' faces when they see it. Yeah, you should convince her to invite them over. When she, when the crisis hit. Oh, no, this can't be true. Not now. You stare at the screen blankly. You heard about the crash on the stock exchange. You heard everyone talk about a worldwide crisis approaching. But you? Laid off? How will you ever tell Lena about it? What about your plans for Christmas? Oh, shit. Charging back up the hill. Red lights. You close your eyes and listen to the city traffic. Damn radio. All they know are Christmas songs at this time of year. You don't want to be reminded of that. Not when you're sitting behind the wheel of a leased cab. It's almost six o'clock. You promised Lena you'd be back for Christmas Eve by five. But it's a busy night and people leave bigger tips on Christmas. And then we saw the rest. Huh. Well, that's his life in a nutshell. Well, that was cool to know, I guess. But what was the point of that? How did they get it? And what for? So they know my entire life story. Contact Alec Corp. Hey, I checked the quantum computer. What the fuck? Mind records? What the fuck? Mind records? What the hell are you doing with that data? It's got everything. My whole life exposed. No. No, I want answers. Shit. What do you want with it? Uh. Branching? What exactly will be branching? I can barely hear him. What? What? You what? Is that your whole answer? His answer was you. Yeah. 
Alter what? Alter? I, alter what? Alter my... Alter my life. Oh. My life? Okay. You mean as in... Okay, wait a minute. You're not suggesting I... Use Rapidium to create a... Someone. And to alter their mind. That's uh, not what you're saying, right? Create an alternate version of myself? All right. How about my other options? You what? jerk. I don't have other options, do I? Initiate the branching procedure. Oh boy. So are we making a clone of myself? But changing his his life memory. What? What is it doing? Searching for the branching point. Possible branching point detected. I, Leaving home. I remember that alternate life. So this is what the branching is about. So if I stayed home and stood up against Dad. Oh, moving away, staying at home. Technician, plus 50% efficiency when doing base maintenance. What? Cool, yeah. So, am I gonna grow a clone of myself? That can't be the end of the demo. I think it is. So, he's gonna grow a lot of copies of himself to help him accomplish the mission. But change them. Watching it. So what would he, what, what, how would he have ended up if he stayed at home? That's what this is going to be. And how weird would that be to see your alternate self? Oh, it's not over. Oh, he's got a whole new life. Oh, let's see what happened to him now. So you guys remember what I read for what happened to the original me? So if he stayed at home. What happens next? Forcing him to leave. There, you did it. Not so hard after all. You turned out to be weak. Begging you to let him in. You had to be strong, assertive. You read about it online. Shut your ears to his false promises. Imagine loud music in your head. Think of mom, her safety. There, it's done. He won't be a problem anymore. So he kicked out his dad. Ups and downs. You laugh as mom tells you a joke she heard in the doctor's waiting room. She's cooked her pierogi. Man, you don't love them. Whoa, no. <laughs> Man, don't you love them? I do love them. And her relaxed, smiling face when she can be herself without that monster bullying her. You just wish you could find more than a part-time job to support the two of you. That prescription she brought home today is going to cost you plenty. Rejecting the offer. You smile as you walk away from the mine. Dad was behind that job offer, that's for sure. Trying to clear his conscience, redeem his sins. The steady job was tempting, but you were assertive. Again. 
No way you'll owe anything to him. You'll make it on your own. You always do. So this guy's life path, he's assertive. He's, he's becoming very assertive. Final goodbye. So mom still dies. But at least you were there for it this time. You hold back the tears when you look at her on the hospital bed. You knew this was coming. Her health deteriorating fast in the last months. You just didn't want to think about it. You hate that helplessness. Damn. Get your shit together, Jan. You need to be strong for her. Promise her you'll make something of yourself. Keep her smiling to the very end. Becoming a technician. You brighten up as the engine starts. Yeah, fixing things always made you feel good. Like you really can change things, make them better. Looks like you got that... Looks like you go... Wait. Looks like going to that vocational school wasn't just a parting gift for mom, but the best you could do for yourself. Father figure. Oh. It feels good to become an expert on something. The boss has customers ask for you specifically, and he can see you replacing him when he retires. It's a new feeling. To be trusted, respected by another man, a mentor. And he's the first person you opened up to about mom's passing. Why couldn't dad just be like that? Suspicious visits. Oh. You try not to eavesdrop, but it's the third time this month these fishy dudes are here. Talking to your boss behind closed doors. He says it's nothing, but you can see he's distracted. Doesn't look, doesn't look you in the eye that much. Disappears for hours, leaving you in charge of the business. Is that a good thing, or should you be worried? Fooled again. Fake batteries? Counterfeit parts? Is that what it was, is that what it was all about? As your boss is being taken away by the police, you feel like an idiot for trusting him thinking that you could open up to him well, while all this time he's been lying in your face, pretending to be a friend. What a fool you've been. Treat it as a lesson, Jan. The only person you can rely on is yourself. Walking away. Of course. It was just a matter of time before they approached you. Now that he's in jail, his words about you replacing him seem so ironic now. You don't want anything to do with them. But what if you lose your job? You love that workshop, but they're criminals. No, assertiveness. Remember, don't be scared. You can make it on your own. Starting anew. As you turn the paycheck around in your fingers, you think of mom. She'd be happy to know you're finally making good money. Working in an inter international factory on a contract of employment. You stayed strong and made something of yourself. She'd probably be worried that you're still on your own, but that's the way you prefer it. Ghost from the past. The one thing to notice, he hasn't met Lena. On this life path, he never meets Lena. Because he would have met her a long time ago, I think. Ghost from the past. Watching the bartender pour you another one. From the corner of your eye, you catch a glimpse of a figure watching you. You turn and see it was just somebody's coat. You smile with, with relief. For a moment, you thought it was dad. You sip your drink and listen casually to the conversations at the tables. It's good not to have problems. Bad habits. Your friends burst out in laughter. The jokes just keep coming to you. It's a good night. You just got your paycheck and you're buying rounds. Okay, calling these people friends is a little bit too much. You've only just met them, but you're having fun together, right? The girl to your left's been giving you signals. Could this be your lucky night? financial crisis. That damn crisis just had to hit when you were starting to actually enjoy life. Your whole branch is being shut down. You'll be lucky if you keep your job at all. And this damn advert just gets on your nerves. Rapidium? A magic trick to, ha to make everyone happy? Who's stupid enough to even think of going on these missions? Seeing him again. You can't make up your mind. Bet safely on take the risk. No, bet safely or take the risk. Wonder who that guy is putting his money on. Wait, is that? Shit, it's him. Dad. He looks like a tramp. Of course, he visits the bookie regularly. Fucking loser. Man, you just hope he doesn't recognize you. Get out here. Quick. Get out here? Get out of here? Get out here, quick, and don't ever come back? You're not like him. You've got your shit together. Project Dolly. So it leads to the same thing. 
So he still ends up going on this mission somehow. You look at the spaceship entrance. Only fools don't change their minds. Especially if your debts are mounting. You'll be fine. You just need to make it through this mission. They respect professionals like you. Just stay strong and you'll be alright. Okay, so now we know what this guy's going to be like. He's way more assertive. Supposedly. He never met Lena. So he's kind of lonely. So I wonder how that's going to change his uh, personality, huh? But that's really cool. I like how you get to read about the altar, the alternate guy, before you meet him. And I, well, I'm curious how it's all going to, you know, line up when we actually talk to him. Wake up your altar. Oh, boy. Wake myself up. Here we go. I was hoping I was going to see this. Oh, wrong way. Let's go meet myself. Oh, I need him to fix everything. <laughs> hey, man, get to work. Oh. Wake up new altar. Jan Technician. Rise and shine. Sunshine. Whoa. Can you imagine tripping your like breaking waking yourself up? Hello? Uh hey, hey, hey there. Uh, wow. Um hello. Hello? Can can you hear me? Your same uh, haircut and everything? I uh what is this? Where am I? Relax, you're in the lab. Should I be honest with him? I think so. You're in a lab inside the Seba. Oh, you unit. see you see how it affects him. Your memories might be a bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. So you have to choose what to say. Yeah. Recognize the base, I think. Wait. You look funny. You Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh. What was that? I wanted to laugh, but I'm like... indifferent. I think you're on some meds. Oh. What? What for? He's insecure. It's so you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition. Okay. Do you think you can uh, introduce yourself? Sure. But can you? Uh. Should I tell him I'm him? <laughs> no, you go first, man. You first. I insist. All right. Jan Dolsky, senior technician at Ally Corp. Mining operations. Did I pass? Wow. Amazing. He's, he's got a different tone. It actually worked. What? What worked? And who? What the hell are you anyway? He's so gruff sounding. This may be hard to process, but my name is Jan Dolsky too. <laughs> of course it is. You're not bad. Or an imitation. What the hell are you? Is this some kind of experiment? Hmm? Because if it is, nobody warned me. Oh well, yeah, he's... He's had no love in his life, this guy. Wait, what did he ask me? I don't know. In a way, it is. But you're wrong about one thing. Oh, damn it. That was the wrong not answer. not an imitation. So, what's the experiment? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it, because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person with different experiences. 
mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not. Me. So, so the computer predicted what his life would only be. Functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it was, it, he never actually lived it. Other stuff, but such bullshit. I know, it's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're a alternate version of me with a different mind? An alternate version of me? No, you're the alternate version of me. No, you're an alternate version of me. And uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. Hmm. It's just us. He doesn't, he doesn't like that. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. I and guess if I you don't help me fix shouldn't it be that honest with him. We're both gonna die. So wait. Let me get this straight. This is an experiment in which I'm a different version of you, and you brought me to life to help fix a malfunction. Because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? Uh, you'd still exist. I, I don't know. It's hard to figure out what I should tell this guy. He doesn't like the true truth. You'd still exist somewhere. Theoretically, at least. Theoretically. Oh God, I keep choosing the wrong answer. You bastard. <sighs> I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. What am I? Look, this is a lot, and we'll sort it out. I promise. He's feeling so many bad emotions. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're going to go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. He's got lots of rebellion quirks going off. Unbelievable. What a screw up. Three year old. Figured it out. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. <laughs> but unfortunately, this is a two man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three. Now, yes, <laughs> it worked. You did it. We're going to live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Oh, yeah, I guess he's not happy about not being real. Huh? I feel like you have to make a choice if you should be honest with them or or not, but I feel like at some point it's going to be obvious. Start the engines. I said leave him alone. Should I leave him alone? Oh, he, he won't talk to me. Oh. Oh, boy. So we do look different. I got longer hair. He's got a very short haircut. And he's very... He's very rough around the edges. Alright, start the engines. Test room, yeah. I tried. All right, now what? You want to automatically collect structures before starting your journey. I should probably collect this stuff. I don't know if we're going to come back here. Interesting. 
Yeah, let's collect it. So I can reuse them. Storage is not unlimited. So the whole base moves. Journey one. Tab to navigate to the altars tab. Common ground. We started off on the wrong foot. I should learn more about the technician. Maybe we can still get along. The altars tab allows you to check the mental and physical state of your altars. The event log on the left shows how the recent events impacted your altars emotionally and provides their insight. There's a bug right there. Disgusting. Day five. I'm pissed off at Jan. He's really irritating. <laughs> Damn. He ate adequately. He looks angry. Let's go talk to him. I'm sorry your life is a lie, sir. Hello. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. I understand you're angry, but I need your help. I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. But that's if we manage that pissed to him get off the more room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Get out of my face, creep. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to be a lot more direct to him. Let's take that approach. Maybe he responds to assertiveness. You don't talk to, you don't talk to me like that, boy. You don't get to talk to me like that. Ah, shit. I'm in command of this base now. You'll do as I say, or... Or... What? Well, that backfired. She sent me back to that giant fish tank. Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work. This guy's hard. Damn it. Mall just deteriorated over time, which makes it run to failures. To repair the commission room, you need a repair kit. You can craft one at the workshop. That's all storage. Workshop. Repair kits. Repair communication room. Figure out how to get along. Uh, I don't know how to get along with that guy, man. Oh, Lucas. Uh, hello. Uh, Mr. Dalski. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm here. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. I guess. I think so. I was almost done for, but then I got these crazy instructions to. Duplicate and edit myself. Was that you? Uh, yeah. It, it's called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? 
And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? You left me no choice. You left me no choice. Doesn't mean I like what I did. Is this even legal? You found Rapidium, Mr. Dolsky. We needed to act. Hmm. What went wrong with the landing? What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. No kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Do you know what killed the rest of the crew? Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. No idea why, though. Hmm. And how come I survived? You tell me. You know, you're not very informative. <laughs> I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dolsky. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. What about the mine records? Hmm? What is all that personal data doing in the base computer? Oh, that's, um, uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and, uh, basically everyone. It's confidential, of course. And it kind of saved your life. Hmm. I don't recall consenting to it. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly. They like to put these things in fine print, you know. I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Uh, I might sound... I might sound young, Mr. Dolsky, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I I'm on my own here at the station. But I contacted my boss, and we're good. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. Have you done this before? That would be hard, considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I didn't... know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What historic data? Some old research. Nothing important. Hmm. So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it. Safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Uh, second thing. Do you think I could see this altar of yours? How do you know you're not talking to him? Oh. How do you know you're not talking to him right now? You're joking, right? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> nice try, but I'd know the difference. The emo suppressant meds, he wouldn't be in a disposition to mess around. How bad is he feeling? He's pissed off at me, won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. You won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. <laughs> Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Hmm. Memories. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, 
They could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out to see what happens. Shit, I, uh... Gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. L7 out. Read about the author's life. I already did. Okay, I read that already. Or I guess I have to click on something. Ask the altar about the memories you share. think yeah like what mm. parents same DNA raised by the same parents that's quite a fair bit don't you think not enough apparently you stood up to dad maybe standing up to dad changed you something I never did Really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. That's so crazy. So this guy is a fictional character, basically. He never lived this life, but the quantum computer implanted all these memories in him and predicted what his life would be. And then he genuinely feels like he lived it. Crazy. Uh, I was a coward. Or maybe i was a coward going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all oh so that's where our paths split mm. did you shine out there were you best in class what do you think huh yeah the build around this merry-go-round that's who i ended up being i'm sorry to disappoint why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with mom. Wait, is mom... Is she maybe still around here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. <laughs> oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make mom's famous pierogi? No way we'd find the ingredients here. Hmm. How the hell am I going to know what the ingredients are? Beer and synthetic starch. Grease and fungicide. Beer. Uh, 
Why not? There's grease. I also saw a packet of useless fungicide lying around somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Luna's a little Hilarious. Smart. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Mm -hmm. Won't change much, I guess. That was cute. Each person in the business is one meal a day. Our quality meals will have a positive effect on the mood for a pierogi. Nice. Pierogi with the altar. How do we get it with you? Here you are, the famous Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh, <clears throat> I wish these were actual cutscenes. That day she had a terrible flu, and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right? Yeah, I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But you remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nice. We mended our relationship. So. So. Are we cool? Are we cool now? Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> Do you mean did I come to terms with waking up as tech support for my doppelganger? Jeez. You might have to give me something stronger than dehydrated dumplings to wrap my head around that. They weren't that bad. Now you're being mean. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. But you made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier to hate you, but eating fucking pierogi with you I actually enjoyed it hmm. so did I so did I sharing these memories with you knowing you understand me that was kind of comforting are you getting mushy with me what mm -hmm. no okay okay just kidding I know what you mean I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... All right, all right. Just tell me what the plan is. Hmm. Handle this our way. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of ambushers. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. Right. So, until the rescue ship arrives, we better watch our own asses. Do they know about me? Hmm. Hmm. Be honest, or just tell them, leave it to me. Leave the politics to me. Don't worry about it. Leave the politics to me. Gladly. Mm. Tell me you know what to do. Tell me you know what to do. We'll improvise. All I know is we need to get to a safe place. Then we'll improvise. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a 
resource consuming, maintenance heavy soccer to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be enough. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? More of us. Idioms there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Versions of us, you mean? Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. That almost sounded like we're planning kids. <laughs> you need to work on your cooking skills, though. Uh, so I can't wait to do it again. Actually, I can't wait to branch myself again. Sure. Take the bull by the horns. Good luck keeping him happy. I said all good Are things. <gasps> real? Ooh. Well, that's the end of the demo. More real than you, I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane. What a trip. It's not a trip. It's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Oh, you look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No. You're not hallucinating. There's gonna be so many of them. All the same person. Do you remember who you are? My name is Jan Dolsky. But I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. It's going to get weird doing this. Lots of them. <laughs> Interesting concept, eh? So that was the demo for altars. Basically a guy by himself who creates alternate versions of himself so that they can complete different tasks and get basically get off the planet with the Rapidium. But of course, I'm sure things are going to probably go wrong and it's going to get intriguing. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I think I will check out the full game when it comes out. The gameplay is good enough. It's more about resource management and stuff, but I'm, I'm mostly interested in what's going to happen. But it looks like it'll be interesting. It seems like they're doing a pretty good job, narratively speaking, with like, how would someone real realistically react to themselves? Like that guy, like his reactions when we're speaking to him, they're pretty believable. Like he wasn't, he wasn't just instantly like agreeing with me. He's like pretty frustrated with it, learning that he was created to serve, basically. So it seems like you have to be pretty smart about how you talk to them. That's a big part of the game. The one playing acoustic guitar, yeah. You know, be cool. I wonder if any of them is gonna like, get violent. Is anyone gonna be like a traitor? That's one thing I'm wondering. But yeah, very cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the demo. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see the full version. And I'll hope to catch you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.